I'm TJ Walker. Welcome to the Daily National. Our special guest today is Stephen Roy Goodman. He is one of the foremost experts in the world on how to get into college. He's the, also the author of College Admissions Together and head of the Top Colleges Consulting Group. Stephen, thanks for being with us. Well, TJ, thank you. For parents who have, let's say, a 14-year-old, 15-year-old who are worrying about college, what's your biggest piece of advice to them? I mean, some are worried that their kid can even get into college or want to go to college. Some are worried, how can I get my kid into Harvard or Yale? What's your advice? My advice is to not worry. Uh, and I know that's simple advice, but the, the, what you want to try to do is plan. Try not to worry and plan instead. Plan to make sure you're taking rigorous academic courses. Plan to make sure you're taking extracurricular activities and you're involved in extracurricular activities that make sense for you. And start to visit colleges so that you're not surprised when you're 17. What are the top two or three things people should do that they aren't doing? Is, are they making the mistake of taking an easy class because they think, hey, now I'll have a higher grade point average, and then they're never taking calculus? That's right. I think that is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. The other mistake that people make is that they don't look at colleges that they weren't familiar with to begin with. And so there are a lot of colleges out there that are terrific, both in the United States and out of the United States, that people, I think, ought to look at. It's, it's great if we can all go to Harvard or Princeton, but not everybody can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, what other tips should people be doing right now? Let's say, you know, for a lot of our, our viewers, their kid is a good student, studies hard, doesn't really care about college, isn't thinking about it yet, is 14 or 15. How can a parent be helpful to a student without being one of these domineering stage mothers, stage fathers, orchestrating everything? Well, I think the easiest way to do that is to take a student on a trip. Uh, in my book, we talk about visiting ballparks around the country. And it's fun. Make it a family vacation. Go and visit a couple of colleges while you're catching some baseball games. It, not everything has to be work, work, work. A lot of times what you can do is you can take these trips, visit some universities along the way, eat at the dining halls, get a sense of the social life at, at these universities, and then students can start to see oh, this is what I would need to do at this university. I guess I do need to get my grades to be a little higher if I want to come to such and such university. Can you give us a case study with one of your clients? You don't have to mention their name, but I would imagine in your field there are some 16-year-olds who say, you know, I have to go to Harvard or my parents will disown me, and you get them to go to colleges and maybe meet people in person, meet the chairman of a music department, and it changes their thinking. That happens all the time. Uh, look, a lot of my students do go to Harvard, but a lot of my students don't go to Harvard. And a lot of my students are interested in special programs, like in music, like in theater, and I'm all for that. Where the tension comes is what happens if somebody in the family wants something and the students want something else. And that's when that becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. How often does that happen? I mean, you think of so many TV movies where the kid wants to go off to dramatic school and the father says, you're going to be the accountant. Does that happen in real life with your clients? It doesn't happen every day, but it happens every other day. It okay. happens a lot. Uh, and I think that and a lot of times, I think that it's important to have these discussions in advance. A lot of times, you probably didn't know your husband or wife when you were 17. And so you don't know what your husband or wife is thinking about what they are thinking about your uh, child's future. And it's important to have these discussions to think about, am I willing to entertain a school in the, in the dramatic arts or not? And some parents are willing to do it and some parents aren't. Mm -hmm. Now, you're in close contact with top admissions advisors from all over the country. You recently interviewed the head of the Harvard Admissions Committee. What is it that gets their attention these days? Because you read constantly that there are these kids with 1,400 on their SATs, right. straight A's, and they get rejected from Harvard, Yale, Princeton. What does it take to get in? Do you have to write a best-selling book at age nine? Do you have to be an Olympic gymnast? What, is it, what really gets their attention? Being different. You want to be different. What is it about you that makes you unusual? Is there something about you that makes you unusual? Think about it like Thanksgiving dinner. Is there something memorable about a member of... I remember once my sister took mashed potatoes and threw it at me, but presumably that wouldn't help at your admissions interview. <laughs> generally not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, if you find, but aside from the potatoes, generally what you want to do is stand out. Mm -hmm. Be different from other students who are also academic, also sharp. The reason a lot of kids get rejected is they haven't said anything that's different. 
They're smart, they're interesting a little bit, they went to a good high school, they're academic, their SATs are fine, but they haven't given you a reason to accept you. They haven't given the school a reason to accept you. Now let's talk about the underside of this, this whole scene. Are there parents out there trying to game the system? Are they, you know, for example, rich going to great affluent schools for their kids and then pushing them to the poor side of town so it makes it look like they did well in the, in the poor school? There are people who do that. Um, and they're do also you recommend that? Do I recommend it? For, if a student wants to do it and is willing to take that incredible risk to make sure that a student doesn't have the best education they have, it depends what your objective is. Is your objective to maximize your chances of going to an Ivy League school, or is your objective to make sure that your student is having the best education that he or she can have between the ages of 13 and 18? It really depends what you want. From my perspective, I don't really make these choices. I'm an advisor. I don't make the final choice. I also help students think about all sorts of things. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the student's the quarterback with his or her parents uh, behind them, and I'm the advisor. OK, finally, take us through your process. Let's say I have a you 16-year-old know, kid, bright, hardworking, ambitious. We come to you. What happens next? What I try to do is I try to help students figure out what makes them different. I give students thinking exercises to help them think through the stuff that might, in fact, be different uh, from their perspective. A lot of times what moms or dads think uh, uh, might be interesting about their sons or daughters isn't really that interesting from an admissions perspective. And other times, what's interesting from an admissions perspective is something that they thought was really not all that interesting mm -hmm. from their perspective. And what I try to do is pull out of students what's interesting. Very similar to the work that you do with your clients around the world, right? ultimately at the end of the day, you're helping students, well, in your case, they're not students, older people. They're my students. They're your <laughs> students, but they're older, to be, take what's in them and be the best that they can be. And I try to do the same thing with my students. I can't make someone all of a sudden a professional basketball player because they want to be, but I can make somebody be the best applicant they can be by pulling out what's interesting about them and having them shine in the admissions process through focusing on a couple of things that they may not have thought of. All right, for more information, go to topcolleges.com, 3w's.topcolleges.com. You can also get college admissions together at amazon.com. Stephen Roy Goodman, thanks for being here. TJ, thank you so much.